So let me guess, you're sending cold Instagram DM, cold Instagram DM, cold Facebook DM, cold email, but you aren't seeing any replies. And it's very obvious why it's because you don't understand outbound prospecting. So in this video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about SMMA cold outreach, um, cold outbound prospecting, and how to actually get guys replying to you. Not only that, but how to improve your sales process in order so they can actually become a paid client. Okay. Um, I'm going through some beginner stuff um, and some more advanced stuff as well. So if you do run an agency right now, this is very important uh, video for you just to understand the basics of outbound and, you know, some advanced stuff that's really helped me on my journey as well. Okay, so let's first get into it. So we can't really continue in this video if you don't understand the basics to mastering outbound prospe prospecting for your online service business. Okay, so the first I want to go through is you know, making sure you understand that this is a cold approach. You know, there, there's no like, you know, being around the bush, cold outreach, sending a cold DM to someone on Instagram, on Facebook, whatever you're doing is a cold approach, right? It, it, it like you're sending them a message from nowhere, pitching your services. Okay. The problem with that is cold approaches, like a, a really like cold DM is very hard to convert into a paid client. That's just like, that's just life, that's human nature, okay? So the first thing you need to start understanding is how to warm up your um, your outbound, okay? We can do this through profile, through a VSL, through case studies, through content, um, in order to actually warm your prospect up. So if I actually go to my profile, I've done this through content, through leveraging my personality and um, just showing who I am as an individual. I've pitched, I've, you know, pinned my offer here so people can see it. Um, I've shown testimonials. I've, you know, linked my agency and I attract my prospects through um, through content, right? And this is really important because I actually do a content service. So doing what you preach is really, really important. Okay, so just that was just to prove that I do this myself. I run an agency. If you haven't, if you haven't been around it before, I'm not like one of these guys where, you know, you can see see that you can go on my profile and it's like okay where's this guy agency you can see my clients I've, I've literally revealed my clients in the past i put my client testimonials on my story i actively run my agency and that's why i actually don't expose like my offers and little stuff like that because i don't want to go broke <laughs> okay but anyway right so that's one thing you need to know two is the vsl warm-up okay so as soon as they send some sort of um like appreciation to that they like your offer and this is good for them um what you're going to do is obviously send them a vsl so ask for a vsl request and this is going to firm further actually warm up your prospects in order to actually get them on a call and then convert them into paid clients a second way is case studies and content this is overall of your profile right so um having the case studies having the content for your profile is going to be really really um it's going to be super important Second thing you need to understand, principle, is that volume will always win. There's no two ways about it. Volume will always win. If, you know, the person that's doing more outreach than you has more chance of signing clients. That's just human nature. That's just volume negates luck. The more numbers you do, the more likely you are to sign clients. Okay, that's just, that's just how it works. Okay, so a lot of people right now are perhaps doing everything right. They're just not doing enough volume. If I was a beginner, I would completely humble myself. And this is exactly what I did when I was starting out because it is really difficult when starting out. Me and my business partner were completely humble. We did 150 e-commerce first lines per day. So imagine I'd wake up at 5.30 a.m. for two months straight, just doing e-commerce first lines when we had a kind of e-commerce slash social media management agency. And we would just go hard on uh, writing first lines, right? Because we were humbled. We were a beginner that, you know, a lot of beginners are trying to shortcut the process and sign clients really fast when they haven't done the reps that it takes um to get that initial standpoint with running an agency so just understand that the more volume do you do at the start the better chance you're going to have okay so whether you can set up an, a cold email campaign whether you can set up a you know do more instagram outreach have an aged account maybe twitter out outbound that's really working for content creative agencies right now um linkedin outreach cold calling if you're doing a Facebook ad slash Google ad offer. Um, and just understanding that the more outreach you're going to do, no matter what channels, uh, social channels you're on, is going to be um, effective for your offer no matter what, right? It's going to be a help, okay? Another way to do this is obviously um, just hire appointment sales because appointment sales are essentially paid um, as cheap labor to um, for them to just run your outbound campaigns and actually um, just do so much outreach. Like your, your VA is just going to do crazy numbers that you can't really do because as business owners, we're lazy. Like I'm lazy. I don't do that much within my agency. I still outsource now. Um, and that's because I just want to be as efficient as possible. I just want the numbers done um, for, you know, the exchange of um, whatever it is, right? $3 per hour, $2 per hour, or paying your appointments there on a monthly basis. Um, 
you know, the more volume, equals the higher chance of you signing a client. In this section, we're actually going to go over um, why people get this wrong. But, you know, that's just a fact to know. Second thing is the best channel. Okay, a lot of people say, oh, what's the best channel? You know, how you know, outbound prospects in channels. So is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? Is it LinkedIn? Is it cold email? The truth is, it is wherever your prospect location is. I can't say because it's offer dependent. The best outreach channel will always be offer dependent. So if you're hearing someone say, this is the best SMA outreach offer, but aren't actually um, like outreach method, but they aren't actually saying which outreach method it, um, it um uh, kind of correlates to like, for example, short form Twitter outbound, right? Um, Facebook ad agency, cold email, right? Or cold call, then just know that they haven't really put much thought into it because it is completely offer dependent. Okay, so the way to kind of figure this out is just a test, right? Like I said, when you're a beginner, when you have no clients, you need to be humble, you know, you need to try out every single method and kind of collect data by yourself. And then eventually over time, you can be like, ah, okay, well, they really worked on Instagram. And that's how I, you know, my agency um, around January, February, raided the short form market. We signed like eight clients in the space of two weeks, something like that, seven, eight. And um, it's because we found the method that was really working. We found the outreach script that was really working. And we just went ham on the Instagram outreach channel, doing loads and loads of outreach numbers. And yeah, that really scaled within, within like a really short period because we tested and we'd found the best channel. We tried email, we had tried all these different methods for our offer, but we found that Instagram was, was the best one to use, okay? Cool. That's that's for the basic, right? If you don't, that should have helped, but um, that's just with the basic because we're outbound. Second thing is, I'm actually going to change this. This is not meant to be a thousand. Second thing is, right now, I've just said it there, and a lot of YouTubers and agency owners will say, you know, ah, oh, volume, more volume, the better, and all this, and it's completely true. But person B beats person A here. Okay, so person A that does. 1,000 outreach, but has a bad offer, has no profile, has bad has a bad sales process, always faces a roadblock between getting to that first client. Okay, let's take, let's say person A and person B have no clients. But person B does 400 outreach, so significantly lower, like more than half lower, um, but has a great offer, has a brand, and has, opt has an optimized sales process, he's going to get that first client first. Okay, and I know a lot of you are thinking, you're doing everything right. You've done all the steps right. You've listened to the YouTubers. You're technically doing everything right, but you're not seeing any success. And it might, and it definitely, in fact, definitely be because at one point of this process, something's gone wrong. Like some something isn't quite right. I bet if I went into your business right now, I could figure out which is the problem. It's going to be one of these as to why you aren't signing clients. Simple as that. Okay, so. Have a look at it, right? Is it your offer? Is Does your profile suck? Do you have a bad sales process? And then, you know, um, analyze why you haven't got to that first client or your second client, third client, whatever it is, right? Um, but this is more important. Now, let's say that person B can do 1,000 outreach per day, um, per week, sorry, and has a great offer and has a brand and has an optimized sales process, then you're actually going to scale. And that this is how you can kind of build your offer um, to actually stand out and do well in the market. Um, so increase your conversion rate, man. Like, don't, don't just think you're going to hammer outreach and it's going to work. Uh, that's why you aren't seeing any replies. That's why, you know, um, you aren't signing clients, even though you're doing everything right and you're sending a bunch of outreach because it, the, your spine isn't built to convert. Your spine, your spine just isn't built to convert, right? So at one point I sussed out, which was, so in that phase where we, you know, destroyed the market and we signed in so many coaches, entrepreneurs um, for our, our content offer is because we had the spine of, you know, the volume. So the volume that we were doing, um, the offer, um, coupled with the script, right? So how we betrayed the offer, how we pitched the offer, um, our brand. So we, we weren't as big as we were now. We had around 1,000 followers. But we always we always had short form. We always had VSLs. We always actually were presenting who we were. We had an optimized sales process, which was defined by um, data. So you know which was working better. Um, I'm going to go over that in the next bit. And this is how we actually scaled. Right? You want to know how I scaled? If you were to ask me in person, hey, look, how did you scale your agency? Bang! That little framework I've just figured out, and perhaps why you're not. Okay. Cool. Second thing is improve your sales process. Right. Now, a lot of people, and you probably are guilty of this, if a prospect was to reply to your message, let's say a prospect replied to your message, 
is like do you know the next step and if if you said no there's a lot of people that would have said no there that that's why you're not assigning clients because you don't even know the next step you don't have a systemized uh converting sales process which you know is going to work okay so this can be in many ways um my favorite there's a few ways i like to do it um i like voice note VSL request and a situational question um, slash a personalized second message. I'm going to kind of break down everything. With a voice note, um, the boys in private, so this is just for the boys in private entry network, is put in the Discord whether you want me to send a screen recording of a voice note I sent, which onboarded a client for us last week. Um, around, no, sorry, that's a lie. 10 days ago, around 10 days ago. Um, and I'll screen record the voice note that I sent him pitching the community building slash content offer. And I'll put it in the private entry network chat. Um, I think that could be really cool. But yeah, voice note, you can just get your service across, right? It's kind of like a mini pitch. And also you can kind of drive emotion through your words and people are always going to buy from emotion. People are always going to, their paradigms can be shift. Um, you know, the paradigm of, okay, is this service um, that good? Or, you know, would this be a benefit for my business? It's always going to be alternated through emotion and the best way you can get emotion out is through a voice note okay so send voice notes going over your service after the prospect replies that could be a part of your sales process you're going to make your own you're going to have your own conclusions but i'm just kind of here to help you out right a vsl request so if a prospect replies to your message um you can say hey you know are you interested in in for me sending a um a loom video going over or a quick video going over how we helped ex client generate um, an extra 10k per month in sales. Okay, this that's what we say, but you know, you're gonna have your own different whatever you're doing. Second thing, situational question. So um, unless you're like a straight hustler, like your first connection messages, so the pitch message you send to your prospects is probably going to be broad it's probably not going to be a first line you know you ain't hustled like me and my business partner um doing 150 personalized first lines um when you have no proof or they have no idea where you're going so the second message when they reply needs to be personalized it needs to you need to quickly narrow down right so say you're messaging a sales coach um you would send the you would send the pitch message that so the copy and paste that you've been sending as soon as they reply personalize it so hey um you know, this This is how our content would really improve your, I see you've got a sales course, you've got a sales community, you've got a sales mentorship program, your e-commerce brand, drive more sales to that, right? So it instantly just personalize the second message, okay? If you can't do that, you're too lazy, right? Like if, you, if it's like a, you know, because people mess up and they go, so someone replies and they go, oh, how's your business going? But that's too broad. That's too broad to gain some interest with your prospects. So as soon as they send that message, ask a situational question about their personalized situation. Okay, so not just a situational question where it's like, oh, how's your business? Because that's what you idiots were about to do, right? A personalized situational question. Okay, the last thing is tracking outbound and data collecting. This is like level one. Uh, and so if you, if you aren't doing this, then don't complain about why your agency isn't being scaled. Um, but so you need the outreach tracking sheet, right? To track who you're texting, um, the reply rate, the VSL request request rate, the conversation engaged with, how much outreach you're doing, when to follow up, um, when you've actually sent the initial pitch message to your prospect, everything you need to do. Um, so you need to have the outreach tracking sheet. If you don't have this, then you know, I don't really know what you're doing. I don't know what you've been doing for the last, um, how long you've been running your agency. And this is also really important because we can actually track data, okay? Because guys, like, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, just keep sending outreach so it works. But it might be because the structure of your outbound campaign just isn't optimized for success. Like, you might need to change it. Don't get me wrong. You should test it out. You shouldn't, like, don't take that as, like, ah, oh, you know, it's not working after 10 messages. Do about 500. Do, do a lot of volume. But understand that at one point, your outbound campaigns might need to change, right? Something might need to be altered. If you don't have that spine of um, offer, guarantee, brand, um, volume, uh, the, 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 the sales process after, right? You might need to restructure things. And tracking this outreach is actually going to allow us uh, to do this effectively, okay? I, I want to keep this video super short, super lean. Um, don't want to go into too much detail, but this is just... You know something that i wanted to share with you guys um if you have it added on instagram it's lukejackson.mx if you want to join if you want to enroll into the private engine network you can get into the private engine network um we're doing great things over there we're making it the best sma program on the planet we're 
turn our time to it into it. I ain't no guru. So, you know, it's value for the money. It's not, you know, it's, it's none of that stuff. And that's why I'm so comfortable selling it. It would actually be unethical for me not to sell you it. Um, and um, yeah, get in the free discord and I'll see you in the next one. So peace. <laughs>